When working on software teams, it's important to have a process for designing and building out new products and services. The software development lifecycle is commonly used by software teams to build and deploy applications. In this video, we'll break down the different stages of the software development lifecycle, or SDLC, and the role that testing plays in it. Here are the standard stages used in the software development lifecycle. Planning stage, design stage, implementation stage, testing stage, de deployment stage, and maintenance stage. Let's take a closer look at those stages in more detail. In the planning stage, the development team collects requirements for the proposed work from the stakeholders. A stakeholder is someone with a vested interest in the success of the product or service. Examples of stakeholders could be investors, owners, or even other employees. The planning phase also includes estimating costs for the work and creating a schedule for when the work will be completed. The next stage is the design stage. In this phase, the software team breaks down the requirements and decide on the best approaches for solutions. This includes deciding on which external tools can be used to help things along and what internal tooling needs to be built to get the job done. After the design stage, you have the implementation stage. This involves the software team breaking down the requirements into manageable tasks that they divide up amongst themselves and build out. Once the implementation stage is complete, the software team moves into the testing stage. This involves manual and automated testing for the new work. Sometimes the team tests out the application throughout the entire development stage to catch and fix any issues that come up. The next stage is the deployment stage. This is where the team deploys the new changes to a build or testing environment. This allows the team to test out the application some more and fix any issues before the changes go to production. The production application is the app that the end users will use. The last stage is the maintenance stage. This involves fixing any issues that arise from customers in the production application. This also involves monitoring the system for any possible improvements on the software.